दुखी क्यों साउंड कर रहे हैं नहीं कोई दुखी नहीं आप कैसे हो मैं बहुत अच्छा हूँ आज तो देखो मैं अपने ऑफिस से क्लास ले रहा हूँ हाँ हम कब आएंगे कॉलेज तुम लोगों का मैंने सेकेंड ईयर हो ना हाँ मैंने कल ही पता किया था तो एक्सपेक्टेड दैट बाय एंड ऑफ मार्च योर बैच वुड आल्सो बी इनवाइटेड टू कम टू द कैंपस बाय एंड ऑफ मार्च सो आज वेटिंग है सर यस वी नो वी नो कल मुझको मानिकलाल मिले थे तो मानिकलाल इज डीन एपी तो उनसे मैंने पूछा था तो उसने कहा था कि फर्स्ट लेट थर्ड ईयर कम वेन दे सेटल डाउन देन वी विल कॉल सेकेंड ईयर तो तुम्हारे सीनियर्स पे डिपेंड करता है कि तुम लोग कितने जल्दी आओगे तो उन लोगों को बोल के रखना कि साहब आप लोग बदमाशियां मत कीजिएगा थोड़ा वेल बिहेव रहिए सो दैट हम लोगों को भी बुलाया जाए हु इज एस एस जी एस एस जी मोबाइल फोन से उसने ज्वाइन किया है एस एस जी इनिशियल किसका है एस एस जी हेलो सर यस सर कौन है कौन हो तुम सर वो एस एस जी क्या नाम है तुम्हारा समीर सो व्हाट डज एस एस जी स्टैंड फॉर बोटानिया समीर तो फिर एस एस जी कैसे है सर लाइक समीर सुखा पाए गोटा नहीं ऐसे अच्छा तो कहाँ रहते हो तुम मैं पोरबंदर में गुजरात पोरबंदर गुड वर्षिल नायक वर्षिल वर्षिल नायक कौन है बोलो भाई वर्षिल नहीं लॉग इन करके निकल लिया घूमने वर्षिल नायक एब्सकॉन्डिंग लिख रहा हूं मैं इसका ठीक है फिर पुलिस स्टेशन से खबर जाएगी उनके पास हेलो ईशा शाह हेलो सर यस सर ईशा आप कहाँ रहती हैं सर मैं आनंद से हूँ आनंद सर हेलो सर कौन हो भाई सर वर्षी लियर कहाँ गायब थे सर माई माइक वॉज नॉट वर्किंग इन माई पी सी सो आई ज्वाइन फ्रॉम माई मोबाइल गायब कहा थे मैं इतनी बार आवाज लगाया सर माई माइक वॉज नॉट वर्किंग इन माई पी सी सो आई ज्वाइन फ्रॉम मोबाइल अच्छा बट तुम्हारा तो नाम नोट हो गया सॉरी सर बट माइक वॉज नॉट वर्किंग
मेघा मेघा बेन राठवा राठवा मेघा यस सर यस सर कहाँ रहती है मेघा सर छोटा उदयपुर अच्छा छोटा उदयपुर ये वहां पे अभी भी वो चल रहा है एक भाषा करके एक एनजीओ चलता था छोटा उदयपुर नहीं आइडिया है सर मुझे कोई वो अच्छा कितने साल से रहती है तुम छोटा उदयपुर में तेजगढ़ नाम की जगह उधर ही है ना सर परमानेंट बॉन ही यहाँ पे तो तेजगढ़ नाम की जगह तो हाउ फार इज दैट प्लेस फ्रॉम योर हाउस तेजगढ़ सर अराउंड ट्वेंटी किलोमीटर ट्वेंटी किलोमीटर वहाँ एक बहुत खूबसूरत सेंटर है लैंग्वेज स्टडी लैंग्वेज स्टडी तो नहीं है हाँ, वैसा मैंने पहले सुना था हाँ. अभी तक गई नहीं हो हाँ, शायद अभी भी चलता है सर वैसे भी चलता तो है तुम गई हो या नहीं गई हो कभी नहीं सर मैं नहीं गई हूँ वहाँ एक बार जाओ बहुत खूबसूरत जगह है मतलब दैट सेंटर इज ऑल्सो वेरी गुड एंड दैट प्लेस इज ऑल्सो वेरी ब्यूटिफुल बिल्कुल एक माउंटेन तो नहीं कहेंगे एक हिल हिलॉक के बैकड्रॉप में बना हुआ है अच्छा है और वहाँ फ्री फ्री का खाना है जाओगी तो लंच कराएगा फ्री में मैं मतलब एक देर वॉज अ टाइम जब कराता था अब क्या कंडीशन है उनका मुझको नहीं मालूम मैं भी नहीं गई हूँ अभी तक जाऊंगी अब धोनी नाम के दो लोग हैं धोनी उपाध्याय एंड धोनी जसवंत भाई समथिंग तो धोनी सो यू आर धोनी गुड आफ्टरनून तुम धोनी उपाध्याय हो यस सर एंड देर इज वन धोनी चौधरी यस सर वो कौन है धोनी चौधरी यस सर हाँ तो ध्वनि चौधरी कहाँ रहती हैं और ध्वनि उपाध्याय कहाँ रहती हैं? सर मैं अहमदाबाद में रहती हूँ और मैं सूरत में हुई दिस मैं पहली वाली मैं उपाध्याय ध्वनि चौधरी रहती है सूरत में यस सर और उपाध्याय रहती है अहमदाबाद में अच्छा अहमदाबाद में तो मैं भी हूँ गुड चलिए तो शुरू करते हैं आज की पढ़ाई हम लोग is 12 8 and 225 students are here here team team share fir kya karu isko band karu stop video then fine so in the last class we were looking into how how atoms interact what we did we took reference from what you studied in your electromagnetic theory the last semester we have started with single atom a force free uh, space presence of that single atom then we brought second atom then we brought third atom so the potential experienced or work done in bringing second atom was something but work done in bringing third atom is different from the first atom now from the second atom so in that way we started calculating overall work done in bringing many atoms in the same 
space that a space could be that a space could be a surface also and that a space could be a volume also so if you are to calculate the work done in bringing a, a charge density rho so atoms which has atoms which have a charge density rho in a volume b then that work done is equal to half of integral of rho v d tau where d tau is the infinitesimally small volume element on which you are integrating and this is considering that the charge distribution is continuous if the charge distribution is is not continuous discrete then this integral sign will be replaced by summation sign from 0 to n atoms which you are bringing in and which has that volume charge uh, uh, density rho if it is on if the assembly is done on the surface then the work done is sigma v times d a where sigma is surface charge density v is the potential v and d a is infinitesimally on surface element or area element on which you are integrating okay so if these two atoms are quite separated then they will behave as if they are isolated atom and their charge distribution wave function can be plotted like this but when many and many atoms are brought together close to each other then the situation changes and that situation we were talking about or we were in the last slide of last class was this in which we, is, we were trying to look into the situation when many atoms come closer to each other whether they are going to follow Pauli exclusion principle or not by Pauli exclusion principle we know that no two electrons can occupy the same space same energy space or same energy level so each electron has a unique energy level and in such circumstances if we bring many atoms which have certainly many many electrons then how these electrons are deciding which place which uh, electron will occupy and I gave you the example of a typical classroom uh, that if there are many benches or many seats in the class and less students so visualize these students as electrons and those benches or seats as those energy level allowed energy levels then uh, electrons can occupy any place but if there is a teacher standing there so teacher you can uh, think in terms of uh, uh, nucleus then the teacher would ask you come closer so sit on the first bench so that is n is equal to 1 so all electrons will occupy in presence of the nucleus all electrons will start occupying energy levels which are closer to the nucleus because that is the minimum energy level or that is the uh, most stable energy state of the atom so that way you start filling up all the seats but when electrons are more than allowed seats then what will happen or available seats then what would happen then each seat will stretch itself or each student will excuse squeeze himself or herself to accommodate another student another friend of his or him or so that way that is what we call in it atomic structure or in molecular structure or in a cluster formation of atoms we call it splitting of energy level because certainly uh, regardless of how many atoms are there in 
the same space or same volume, electrons, two electrons cannot occupy the same state, same energy level. So, this is that uh, diagram that we uh, were looking into in the last class and I told you to come back in the next class after, after studying about this. So, can anybody tell me what this energy diagram conveys? What this energy diagram conveys? Koi dekh ke aaye? Nahi? Very good. Very, very good. Okay. No problem. So, here you see that at the top I have or this in this figure, it is not created by me. So, on the top there are four boxes written N, L, M and S. If you recall in the last class I also asked you what are the four quantum numbers. So, these are the four quantum numbers which these are the four quantum numbers. This is principal quantum number, this is angular momentum, this is magnetic moment and this is spin quantum. And these are all atoms of one, all electrons of one particular atom. So, this is n is equal to 1. So, it is 1, n is equal to 1 and there are two electrons you know. So, 1 s 2 and those two electrons have plus and minus spin. In n is equal to 2, now there are 2 s 2, 2 p 6, so 8 electrons. And how they are distributed? That for, for principal quantum number 2, there are 0 and 1, 2 L state and there are 0, minus 1, 0, plus 1 m state and each of these m states would occupy two electrons of up and down spin, so plus and minus half. So, this way there are eight electrons which are accommodated in n is equal to 2. And then there is n is equal to 3, third orbit also. The third orbit 3s2, 3p6, 3d, nahi, sp, d. Ah. So, this is s, this is p, this is d, yes. And these are the electrons which uh, can occupy separate energy levels in that isolated atom. This is one isolated atom. But now we are thinking of a situation where we have actually brought n such atoms very, very close together, very, very close together. And since there are n such atoms, therefore for each atom there are outermost orbit, in outermost orbit or n is equal to 3 orbit, there are 2 n states and in, in p there are 6 n states. So, p state, p orbital can occupy, can take a, a 6 electron each and there are n such atom. So, there are 6 n so, 6 n seats are available in the class. Okay. This particular atom which we are talking about is silicon which has 2 s 2, 2 p 2. So, this is, this is called, uh, 3 s 2, 3 p 2. So, this is s 2 electrons of s orbital and these are two electrons of p orbital. However, p has 
six frequencies or six separate distinct energy levels, but in this atom there are only two p state or p orbital electrons. So, six n states are occupied by only two n electrons. In case of n silicon atoms brought together or put together or fixed together in one uh, small space or volume. Right. So, this this concept is very important for you to note that there are that there are 6 n, n is number of atoms brought together. There are 6 n seats available in that class for late comers, ok. But only there are 2 n late comers, think there are many vacancies in the outermost orbit. However, the inner states are already occupied. So, 3 s is completely occupied, this 2 s 2 p completely occupied, 1 s completely occupied. And there is a back door entry and from that back door there are 4 n students who joined the class late 2 n occupying the 2 n states of s orbital and 2 n other 2 n students are occupying the 6 n possible seats of 3 p state. So, this is that this is the meaning of uh, this diagram. Now, if we are bringing these 6 n atoms still closure, then what would happen that we are going to discuss. So, this is your silicon whose z is equal to 14. If I ask you to write the electronic configuration of silicon, then it is 1 s 2 principal quantum number n is equal to 1, 2 s 2, 2 p 6. So, second principal quantum number state is also completely filled, but in the third remaining four electrons will occupy the third orbit which can accommodate more than four electrons. But since there are only four electrons, so these four electrons are occupying 3 s 2 and 3 p 2 and there are n such state, this is this is for one isolated atom. But what we are doing, we are bringing n such atoms close to each other. So, basically I have 2 n states of 1 s, 2 n states of 2 s, 6 n states of 2 p because p orbital can occupy 6 electrons and there are 6 electrons in each atom and therefore, 6 n benches or seats are available for 2 p, 2 n are available for 3 s and 6 n benches or seats are available for 3 p for n silicon atoms, right. These n atoms come closure and closure and their interatomic spacing decreases and therefore, now these electrons are actually competing with each other. And Pauli exclusion principle is regardless of anything applicable. So, these electrons actually are adjusting themselves within the allowed energy levels of isolated atoms. So, those energy levels are now splitting, stretching themselves and those stretched or splitted energy levels are now called energy band. Energy band. So, the energy level concept stands good for an atom and energy band 
concept holds good for a solid or a crystal state in which we are actually putting many atoms very close to each other so that their interatomic space decreases considerably. And the formula that you just deduced yourself from your earlier knowledge of electromagnetic theory that how much work is required to be done to bring all those atoms close to each other so that they would stay stable. So that they would stay stable. Agar stable nahi hai, crystal rahega nahi. So till it occupies minimum energy level. Ye dekh rahe, energy kam ho rahi hai pe. So till the energy is reducing, these atoms can come closer. Or uske baad fir nahi rahega. Fir unko nucleus, unke dono ke nucleus aapas mein repel karna shuru karenge and the crystal will break away. So the question here is that if the splitting has to start, which orbital will split first? Sir, the outermost orbital will split first. So in the case of silicon, in the particular case of silicon, this may yeah, z is equal to 14. So now you tell me which, which orbital or which energy level will start splitting first? 3p2. 3p2. Yeah, 3p. Okay. But the difference of energy in 3p and 3s is quite small. So it so happens, yes, your answer is correct that it is 3p which will start splitting first but simultaneously 3s will also start splitting because the difference between these two are very very less so 3p will influence 3s also to split and the situation that occurs is like this look at we are coming back to the same diagram and this is so this is your 3s uh, 3p yeah na? This is 6 and states available hai. and this is your 3s which has 2 n states of n atoms, 3s state of uh, n atoms. So both will start splitting almost simultaneously. Yes, split ho hai and this will split like this. Ek niche aega aur ek upar jayega, obviously. Till the lower part of 3p and the upper part of 3s join, meet. The moment it happens, what you get is that there is no distinction between what is 3p and what is what was 3s. These two are merged now. There is no differentiation. So basically what is happening that, that this is called hybridization. When this 3s and 3p both split such that these two merge to each other. So this is 3s or sp hybridization of energy levels. So what will happen? This is the situation. So this shaded area by yellow color, transparent yellow color, is that hybridized state of sp. So meaning what? Meaning that there are 6 plus 2. So there are 8 n states, 8 n benches or seats, chairs available in the class, which will be occupied by 2 n plus 2 n, so 4 n students. There are 8 n chairs which will be occupied by 4n students. This is that meaning of abbreviation. This is the meaning of abbreviation. But consider a situation that the, the teacher or lecturer's voice is so feeble 
that day the teacher is not uh, good in health and so his his voice is not audible to the last energy level or to the last chairs or to the last benches of the class so what is happening that again each atom will try to come closer and closer so that पीछे के बच्चे भी जो लेट जो हायर एनर्जी लेवल के जो बच्चे हैं वो भी आवाज सुन सके न्यूक्लियस की वो भी न्यूक्लियस से अट्रैक्टेड रहें दे ऑल्सो वॉन्ट टू बी बाउंड विद द एटम दे डोंट वॉन्ट टू एस्केप द एटम सो वो और टाइट हो रहे हैं और क्लोजर आ रहे हैं वेन इट स्टार्ट then what actually would happen that again there will be a splitting that would start happening of this hybridized state that splitting is basically this line is tending to go up and up and this line so nature wahi hai graph waise hi apna bad raha hai upar wali line upar jate jayegi iski 3s ke lower line will start going lower and lower 3p lower line will start coming uh, will continue coming lower and lower and 3s upper line will keep growing higher and higher so after this hybridization state again there is a splitting that you are seeing here and that splitting is actually uh, so this is one part and this is another part ho kya jayega ki us class mein fir do bunches two bunches are now created or two groups are now created but the thing is that in that creation of bunch since by nature all electrons would try to remain in the lowest possible available energy state or energy level so all those 4n electrons or 4n students will take seat in that lower bunch lower group of chairs which is closer to nucleus let us suppose and the upper 4n state because earlier there were 8n states yahan pe jab hybridize hua hai to 8n state hai mere paas and 4n electrons hai mere paas so half states are here empty and half are filled but on further splitting of these two energy states what is happening is that the lower lower band is now completely filled by all those outermost electron and the upper band is completely empty there is no electron available and by virtue of this type of a splitting what you are seeing is that this is a gap that is created here there is nothing this is called energy gap or band gap और डिस अलाउड एनर्जी स्टेट यहां पे कोई इलेक्ट्रॉन नहीं रह सकता है एनर्जी है वहां पे यू पास थ्रू दैट स्पेस यू शुड हैव दैट मच एनर्जी बट यू कैनॉट स्टे देयर जैसे नो पार्किंग जोन नो पार्किंग जोन इज ऑलवेज एम सो यू आर टेम्प्टेड टू park your car there but it is legally not allowed so even though there is a space empty space have to drive your car through that space to some other parking place where there are the space if you are looking for parking in let us say uh, uh ahmedabad mall ya kya naam hai uska yes नहीं अहमदाबाद वन अल्फा वन वो एक मॉल है 
वहाँ के पास अगर आते हो और सैटरडे संडे बहुत रश रहता है तो इफ़ यू डोंट गेट पार्किंग प्लेस इफ़ यू फाइंड दैट पार्किंग इज़ फुल देन यू कैन नॉट एंटर देयर इवन दो ऑन रोड यू विल फाइंड देर आर सम स्पेस अवेलेबल बट यू कैनॉट पार्क बिकॉज टू अवे कार्स आर टू अवे ट्रक्स आर मूविंग देयर तो अगर आप किसी गलत जगह पर पार्क कीजिएगा तो आपकी कार उठा के ले तो नाउ यू हैव टू गो ऑल थ्रू दिस एरिया टू दिस प्लेस वेयर देर इज देर आर चेयर देर आर स्पेस अवेलेबल फॉर पार्किंग योर कार एंड यू हैव टू पार्क योर कार so this space which is created because of a splitting of energy levels when you are trying to bring n atoms close together to form a crystal is known as band gap which is a disallowed energy level so jab quantum mechanics ya quantum mechanics ke laws ko follow karte hue when you start studying then you find that these are the states which are not allowed so forbidden energy level is the name of given to this or energy gap eg we note it by eg so when you find these two separate energy bands when you bring atoms still closer then the upper band is called as conduction band and the lower band is called as valence band and by virtue of this particular atom ke case mein main baat kar silicon ke case it so happened that the valence band all four n allowed states of valence band are occupied by four n electrons of silicon and all four n allowed states of conduction band are completely empty zero electrons are there this is a very very peculiar or particular characteristic of group 4 element germanium silicon carbon jisme jiske member hai and this group 4 is called semiconductor material जिसकी हम लोग बात आगे करेंगे एंड देयर फॉर इन द फाउंडेशन वी ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज द यूनिक प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ दिस ग्रुप एलिमेंट एंड द यूनिक प्रॉपर्टी इज दिस दैट वैलेंस बैंड एट जीरो टेम्परेचर एट जीरो टेम्परेचर सो एब्सोल्यूट जीरो टेम्परेचर नॉट एट रूम टेम्परेचर एट एब्सोल्यूट जीरो टेम्परेचर ऑल फोर एन वैलेंस बैंड states are completely occupied by four n outermost orbit electrons all four n allowed energy states of conduction band are completely empty are completely empty aur ye conduction band aur valence band ke niche jo band hai niche bhi to hai na ये जो प्रिंसिपल क्वांटम नंबर वन और प्रिंसिपल क्वांटम नंबर टू वाले जो है इसमें दो इलेक्ट्रॉन है इसमें छह इलेक्ट्रॉन छ दो आठ इलेक्ट्रॉन है ये तो नीचे में है ही है तो दीज आर कॉल्ड कोर एट कोर बैंड या कोर एटम इसमें यहां पे इफ यू नोटिस हियर you see that in the second level also there is a splitting which has started but this happens much later much later when you still try to uh, put some more atoms in the same space or volume then even level 2 will also start splitting but forget about that that is not of our concern we are happy with and of the splitting of third state only ओके, सो एट एब्सोल्यूट टेम्परेचर ऑल पॉसिबल प्लेसेस इन बैलेंस बैंड आर कम्प्लीटली फिल्ड एंड हेंस देर इज नो वैकेंसी फॉर इलेक्ट्रॉन्स टू मूव अराउंड जितने चेयर हैं उतने लड़के बैठे हुए हैं तो अब अगर कोई और आता है तो वहां तो नहीं आ सकता है बैठने के लिए अब उसको कहीं और स्पेस लेना सीट लेना पड़ेगा तो नाउ इट हैज टू गो टू कंडक्शन बैंड सो मान लो कंडक्शन बैंड इज नॉट चेयर सो 
डिस्क्रीट लेवल्स वहां पे नहीं है सपोज वो कंटिन्यूम में तो आपको नीचे बैठना है वहां चेयर है ही नहीं आपको जमीन पे ही बैठना पड़ेगा तो इफ यू आर सो लेट देन काइंडली सिट ऑन द फ्लोर दैट इज दैट इज स्टेट इन एनर्जी टर्म्स कंडक्शन बैंड इज ऑलवेज कंडक्शन बैंड ऑलवेज रिमेन्स एट इक्व पोटेंशियल इक्विपोटेंशियल है तो वहां जो भी इलेक्ट्रॉन आएगा उसको जहां मर्जी वहां जा सकता है बिना किसी एक्सटर्नल वर्क के इफ इट गेट्स अ सिंपल पुश इट कैन मूव विद इन दैट कंडक्शन बैंड फ्रीली तो ऑलमोस्ट कंटिन्यूम वाला स्टेट है वो ऑलमोस्ट नॉट एग्जैक्टली ऑलमोस्ट कंटिन्यूम वाला स्टेट क्योंकि थ्री के ऊपर फोर फाइव सिक्स जितने भी प्रिंसिपल क्वांटम नंबर के स्टेट हैं सब उसमें आके मर्ज कर रहे हैं एंड एब दैट एवरीथिंग इज इन कंटिन्यू इट इज लाइक अ सी सरफेस एक बार आपने पेपर बोट उस पर डाल दिया तो वो अपना घूमता रहेगा वहां देर इज नो ट्रैफिक लाइट देर इज नो रूल देर इज नथिंग सो न्यूटन फर्स्ट लॉ ऑफ मोशन विल बी एप्लीकेबल कि जब तक कोई और चीज फोर्स उसको रोकेगा नहीं तब तक वो अपना घूम चलता रहेगा या अगर रुका हुआ है तो अपनी जगह पे स्टेट ऑफ रेस्ट में ही इट कंटिन्यू टिल इनफिनिटी सो दैट इज कंडक्शन बैंड बट इन बैलेंस बैंड इट इज पैक जैम पैक देर इज नो स्पेस नो इलेक्ट्रॉन कॉन मूव एंड देयर absolute zero temperature this is a perfect insulator this material is perfect insulator electron move karega hi nahi electron move nahi karega to current flow hoga hi nahi because dq by dt is your current i so rate of change of electron or negative charge kuch hoga hi nahi so there is no current since there is no current so it is insulator it is not allowing any current current to flow but think of a situation what happens when temperature rises ye to humne baat ki absolute zero temperature pe which is very rarely to to achieve abhi hum log jaise baithe hue hain that is not zero temperature that is a room temperature but ke pata nahi kitna hoga 17 18 20 degree hoga temperature आपके कमरे का कमरे के बाहर हो सकता है 21 डिग्री हो 22 डिग्री हो देर इज सम टेम्परेचर सिंस देर इज सम टेम्परेचर सो देर इज सम एनर्जी और हीट हीट एनर्जी है वहाँ पे हीट एनर्जी के कारण पार्टिकल्स और गैसेस पार्टिकल्स और स्कैटरिंग हियर एंड देयर मूविंग नथिंग इज स्टिल एनर्जी ट्रांसफर तो हो ही रहा है मॉलिकल्स घूम रहे हैं so what happens when temperature rises this happens so basically in a solid structure what is the situation is that these black circles or spheres are basically atoms all these atoms are this is called phonon model of atoms or of solid so all these atoms are basically interacting such that these are pendulums the interaction energy or process of interaction is as if these are connected with a spring so when this atom comes right then it compresses this side and it releases this side on its left तो कंप्रेशन एनर्जी जहां पे आया वहां पे हीट बढ़ गया वहां ज्यादा एनर्जी आ गई जहां पे रेयरफिकेशन हो रहा है वहां पे हीट कम हो गया बिकॉज ऑफ दिस डिफरेंशियल लॉ ऑफ एनर्जी और हीट विद इन दैट सॉलिड स्ट्रक्चर दीज एटम्स आर ऑलवेज मोबाइल इवन दो वी से दैट दीज आर फिक्स so basically they are fixed around their their position x is equal to 0 or y is equal to 0 or z is equal to 0 if 
but actually they are pulsating, they are vibrating on their positions each atom randomly on some direction and therefore they are actually bound with that interaction energy they are bound. So, I have given you an example again to visualize that let us visualize the crystal of NaCl. So, tomorrow a table salt. NaCl may there is ionic bond. Ionic bonds are the strongest bond. So, Na plus or Cl minus. Say ye bana hai. So, Na ne apna jo outermost orbit ka jo single electron hai wo de diya. Chlorine ko. Therefore, Na became Na plus and Cl became since Cl is, has accepted one electron. So, that one electron is one extra electron. So, one extra negative charge is now occupying Cl. So, Cl became Cl minus ion and Na became Na plus ion. And now, since these are oppositely charged ions, they attract each other and they have created NaCl crystal. So, NaCl crystal, crystal structure mein, iska naam hai ki this is a face cubic centered, a face centered cubic crystal, FCC. FCC. So, basically, uh, agar structure iska dekho, to ye, there are inter layers of Na, so char atoms Na ke hain, phir char atoms Cl ke hain, phir char Na ke hain, aur us tarikai se ye arranged hai NaC. So that agar a single unit cell, if you imagine, then basically that unit cell has 8 atoms on 8 corners and on 6 faces there are six other atoms also. So, if corner atoms are Na, then these face centered atoms are Cl. So, this is the way they are made. Yeah, this is the crystal structure of an SEM. So, here basically there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 cubes ko mila ke ye structure bana hua hai. So, this is not unit cell, there are 8 unit cells in this crystal zone. Russe jo ek bada crystal, ek bada cube aapko dikh raha hai, usme agar if you see, then you will find that each face is centered. Each face has one atom there are 6 faces. This atom is front face ka center. This atom is left face ka center. This atom is right face ka center. This top face ka center. This bottom face ka center. Hai. This is back face center. Therefore, NACL we call it is a a face centered cubic system. The other hand, as I said you that each has alternative, alternating uh, atom. So, this is, this is Na, this is Cl. Or usme ye bhi aap dekhiye, a Cl atom is bigger than Na atom. Atomic number dono ka alag alag hai. Or usme bhi Na has given up one electron. So, it has actually now more attractive towards it. Uh, so, Na atom se bhi chota size Na plus ion ka hai. Cl atom se bada size Cl minus atom ka hai, uh, ion ka hai. And there are six nearest neighbor of each atom. So, basically if consider this Na plus ion or so, ये एक, ये दो, तीन, चार, five and six. So these are the six nearest neighbors, neighboring atoms of 
one atom. So this is the structure of uh, NaCl. And because of this very strong electrostatic attractive force, this crystal is formed and there are no free electrons available, no free electrons. So some ion bane away or ion ban ke, ionic bond bana ke, they are tightly packed. So in solid form, NaCl is a very, very good insulator. So there is no free electron to move within the crystal. But then the question is, ki why salt water conducts? Iko, agar main solution bana dun, paani mein namak ko solve karu, uh, dissolve karu, it uh, immediately starts conducting. Why? NaCl is purely insulator, H2O is also insulator. But if I make a solution in the uh, water, mein, so it starts conducting. Why? Do you want to tell the answer? Due to hydrogen bonding, sir. What like uh, uh, like uh, hydrogen bond, se, like the uh, energy produced, so it breaks the CL bond. So it breaks the Na plus and Cl minus like, uh, freely. फ्री हो जाएंगे तो उससे लाइक जो Na+ और Cl- आयन से कंडक्शन स्टार्ट हो जाएगा उससे मतलब कैसे कैसे हाइड्रोजन बॉन्ड के NaCl को ब्रेक कर देता है व्हिच बॉन्ड इज स्ट्रांग लाइक यस सर बॉन्ड और हाइड्रोजन बॉन्ड आंसर नो सर आई 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 डोंट मीन से लाइक लाइक Na+ और Cl- जब पानी में लाइक हम डालेंगे ना तो जो H+ और जो like H2 है ना तो उसका H plus और जो O minus है ना O minus जो Na plus है ना उसको attract करेगा तो उससे attraction होने के उसे attraction होगा तो उसमें बीच जो bond बनेगा ना उसे energy produce होगी और O energy जो like uh, like H2 uh, बहुत सारे H2 उसे like joint होगे तो बहुत सारा like uh, energy produce होगा तो उसे जो energy produce होगी ना Na plus और Cl minus के bond को तोड़ेगी ऐसा any other answer बहुत अच्छा आंसर ये नहीं है व्हाट इज योर नेम यस सर बहुत अच्छा आंसर नहीं है यू अटेम्प्टेड वेल बट आंसर इज नॉट करेक्ट एनी अदर आंसर ठीक है ना वो हां सॉरी बोलो NaCl की जो डाइल्यूशन एनर्जी होती है ना वो कम NaCl का बॉन्ड तोड़ने से ज्यादा होती है मतलब जब हम उसे वाटर में डिसॉल्व करते हैं तो जो एनर्जी प्रोड्यूस होती है ना वो हां होती है हां तो द क्वेश्चन इज व्हाई सॉल्यूशन ऑफ NaCl आयोनिक बॉन्ड है ना वो तोड़ तोड़ने के से ज्यादा होती है इसलिए NaCl का आयोनिक बॉन्ड टूट के दोनों आयन की तरह पानी में डाइल्यूट हो जाती है यस सर सो मींस जब NaCl NaCl को H2O में डालते हैं तो मतलब uh, H2O का OH- और Na+ वो दोनों रिएक्ट करके जो मतलब वो दोनों और H+ और Cl- के बीच का जो हाइड्रोजन बॉन्ड होता है वो उन दोनों की एनर्जी कंबाइन करके जो एनर्जी बनती है वो NaCl का आयनिक बॉन्ड की एनर्जी से मतलब वो आ, क्या कहते हैं उस, उसके तोड़ने की एनर्जी से ज्यादा होती है तो वो टूट जाता है और Na+ और Cl- आयन वाटर के सॉल्यूशन में मतलब सॉल्यूशन में मोबाइल चार्जेस की तरह रहता है तो दैट्स व्हाई दे कंडक्ट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी चलिए आंसर आप लोग खुद देखिएगा मैं नहीं बता रहा हूं बट uh, मैं ये आपके एग्जाम में पूछूंगा ओके okay. तो अब आगे चलते हैं कि वाटर मेटल्स 
अगर याद करो तो दो तीन क्लास पहले हमने आपसे पूछा था कि मेटलिक बॉन्ड क्या होता है यू ट्राइड योर लेवल बेस्ट बट इट वॉज नॉट अ वेरी एक्यूरेट आंसर एंड देन आई सेड यू दैट आई विल नॉट टेल यू द आंसर बट वी विल नीड द आंसर इन सम फ्यूचर क्लास सो दैट इज दिस फ्यूचर क्लास वेन वी रिक्वायर टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज अ मेटेलिक बॉन्ड सो द सिचुएशन इज दैट that the metallic or metal atoms or the group of these metal elements such as jo naam upar mein sab likhe hue hain so the uniqueness of this group is that the outermost electronic shell is only partially filled पार्शियली फील्ड का क्या मतलब हुआ कि उनका जो अट्रैक्शन है टूवर्ड्स देयर न्यूक्लियस इज नॉट दैट ग्रेट एंड ऑल दीज एटम्स आर एक्चुअली ऑफ बिगर साइज सो जेड बड़ा है इनका जैसे देखो यहाँ कॉपर का एग्जांपल दिया हुआ है तो कॉपर इज जेड इज टू ट्वेंटी नाइन ठीक है अभी जो हमने सिल्कन का एग्जाम्पल लिया था सिल्कन का हमने जेड क्या बताया था एटमिक नंबर ऑफ सिल्कन वॉज फोर्टीन फोर्टीन और यहाँ देखो कॉपर का एग्जाम्पल है इट इज टू टाइम्स बिगर इन एटमिक नंबर एटलीस्ट साइज में टू टाइम्स बड़ा नहीं होगा बट इट इज बिगर इन साइज बिगर इन साइज का मतलब हुआ कि आउटर मोस्ट ऑर्बिट का जो फोर्स ऑफ अट्रैक्शन टूवर्ड्स इज न्यूक्लियस है द फोर्स ऑफ अट्रैक्शन बिटवीन द आउटर मोस्ट ऑर्बिट इलेक्ट्रॉन्स टूवर्ड्स इज न्यूक्लियस इज मच मच लेस then in case of silicon since it is much much less and it is partially filled so to acquire a good stable electronic or energy state stable a better stable electronic state what do these elements do they tend to give away donate so this giving away is different from making an ionic bond ionic bond mein wo apne electron ko permanent chhod dete they don't recognize their electron in this case it is not that in this case they recognize that this is their electron but still in the crystal structure in that you see of uh electronic states or charge c of charges each of these atoms tends to leave or give away one or two electron and contribute donate that to the three dimensional crystal space aisa nahi hai ki kisi ek particular atom ko de dete hain ki tum ye le wo nahi there is a common pool there is a common pool in which each atom donates one or two electron so suppose there is a crystal or there is a solid so man lo gold ka ek solid hai ek hamare hath mein cube hai and suppose it has a density of 10 to power 19 atoms per centimeter cube gold hai ya कॉपर है या सिल्वर है जिंक है तो मान लो वन सेंटीमीटर क्यूब वॉल्यूम में नाउ यू इट शुड बी इन अ पोजिशन टू यूलाइज व्हाट वन सेंटीमीटर क्यूब वॉल्यूम मींस कितना छोटा वो क्यूब होगा वन सेंटीमीटर क्यूब वॉल्यूम में देयर आर टेन टू पॉइंट सेवेंटीन एटम्स ऑफ गोल्ड हर एटम इफ डोनेट्स वन इलेक्ट्रॉन जस्ट वन इलेक्ट्रॉन टू दैट वन सेंटीमीटर क्यूब वॉल्यूम स्पेस तो उस वॉल्यूम स्पेस में देर आर टेन टू पावर नाइनटीन फ्री इलेक्ट्रॉन्स फ्री इलेक्ट्रॉन्स विच आर नॉट एट ऑल अटैच विथ एनी सिंगल एटम so now you see the difference between the nacl ionic bond state jisme humne kaha ki solid state mein ye perfect insulator hai 
नो इलेक्ट्रॉन इज अवेलेबल नो इलेक्ट्रॉन इज फ्री क्योंकि एन ने जो अपना इलेक्ट्रॉन छोड़ा वो सी ने पकड़ लिया वो अब उसको गिव अप नहीं करेगा वो अपना घर छोड़ के उसके घर में जाके बैठ गया सो नाउ नीदर एन एज एनी डिस्पोजेबल इलेक्ट्रॉन नॉर सी एल इज रेडी टू गिव अवे इट्स एक्स्ट्रा इलेक्ट्रॉन बट इन द केस ऑफ मेटेलिक बॉन्ड और मेटल्स वॉट इज हैपनिंग इज दैट ईच ऑफ दीज एटम्स gives or donates one electron or two electron each to the crystal and therefore there are so many free electrons in that crystal available to move around and certainly movement of an electron in one particular direction is flow of current and we know hundreds of ways to make these electrons move in one particular direction randomly move karne mein there is zero current जो अभी मैंने आपको उसमें दिखाया फोनोन मॉडल ऑफ एटम्स में और सॉलिड ये सारे एटम्स रैंडमली मूव कर रहे हैं बट उसके कारण कोई करंट नहीं क्रिएट हो रहा है बट इफ वी कैन गिव अ डायरेक्शन टू दिस मूवमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स इन अ सॉलिड और इन अ क्रिस्टल देन सर्टनली दैट क्रिस्टल इज सेड टू बी कंडक्टिंग एंड दैट वी नो हाउ टू मेक दोज इलेक्ट्रॉन्स मूव इन वन पर्टिकुलर डायरेक्शन by creating an external bias by connecting it to an external battery so this is this is the metallic bond how how these mat metals and why these mat metals are actually uh, conduct so now we are coming to understand the band model of solid band abhi jo humne aapko dikhaya wo aaj ka class jis graph se humne shuru kiya tha the isolated atoms have very precisely defined energy level level matlab hua ek sharp line aur band matlab hua ki jaise hum log tum logon ko grading karte hain ya jisko 73.6 से लेके 69.5 तक मार्क्स है उसको ए ए दे देते हैं सो दैट इज द बैंड बट सर्टेनली ईच ऑफ यू हु आर गेटिंग ए ए ग्रेड द बैंड ऑफ ए ए ईच ऑफ यू हैव डिस्क्रीट एनर्जी डिस्क्रीट मार्क्स बट स्टिल मैं कहता हूं कि नहीं ये पॉसिबल नहीं है कि मैं सबको अलग अलग ग्रेड दू इन सबको एक बैंड में रख दे so this is my aa band this is my ab band this is my fe uh, kya hota hai jo bhi hota hai dd band this is my bc band us tarike se maine aap logo ko band mein grade kar diya some of you are happy some of you are not similarly here when i create a solid from atoms atoms do have discrete energy levels अगर केवल एक स्टूडेंट की बात करूं तो उसको एक शार्प कोई नंबर मार्क्स आया हुआ है क्या बट जब मैं ग्रुप ऑफ हंड्रेड स्टूडेंट की बात करता हूं तब मैं कहता हूं कि यार इसमें दस तरीके के बच्चे हैं बारह को ऐसा है ट्वेंटी थ्री के इतने हैं थर्टी फोर के इतने हैं इस तरीके से मैं उनको बैंड में डिस्ट्रीब्यूट कर देता हूँ तो सिमिलरली हियर एटम्स एंड इलेक्ट्रॉन्स ऑल्सो टू बिहेव लाइक दिस एंड वी कॉल इट और वी ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड इट by band model so these all are very typical basic fundamental electromagnetic theory or electrostatic theory relations which need not to be spent much time on for teaching for you understanding ye sab aap log dekh sakte hain so you i when i put these slides on my lecture folder aap log ye dekh lijiyega it is very easy to to comprehend and you can understand this very easily ki what what this 14.6 electron volt means ye hydrogen atom ke model se aaya hai so 
when an electron moves from n is equal to 1 to n is equal to 2, second quantum state mein ya second orbit mein, to usko wo kitni energy release karta hai, ya kitni energy ki jarurat hai. Agar 1 se 2 mein ja raha hai, to aapko usko higher energy state mein aap usko le ja raha hai. So, aapko you have to put in, you have to pour energy. Or jab 2 se 1 mein ja raha hai, it will release energy. Because it is becoming stable now. So, it is now coming to a lower energy configuration, a stabler condition. So, it will release that energy. That energy is 13.6 electron volt. So, from there, here is the difference between electrical engineering and electronics engineering. That in electrical engineering, we have only one carrier and that is electron. In electronics, there are two types of carrier. One is electron or rather free electron and another is, another is, anybody, another is? Holes. 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 So, absence of electron is hole. Or is a hole ka hum positive charge man. And this is a fictitious part. Actually exists nahi karta. ये आप नहीं कह सकते हैं कि इस एटम में इतने इलेक्ट्रॉन है और इतने होल है ये आप नहीं कह सकते बट व्हेन वी क्रिएट अ सॉलिड आउट ऑफ दोस एटम्स एंड वी फोर्स देम टू टेक सम इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फिगरेशन देन बाय वर्चू ऑफ मूवमेंट ऑफ दीस इलेक्ट्रॉन्स द स्पेस दैट इज लेफ्ट बिहाइंड बाय दीस इलेक्ट्रॉन्स फ्री इलेक्ट्रॉन मूविंग इलेक्ट्रॉन इज नोन एज hole because there was an electron there, so there was a negative charge there. So, how a negative charge can disappear? By adding one positive charge there, equal, equal positive charge. If you add it, then negative charge disappear. So, we call that one hole is equal and opposite carrying or carries equal and opposite charge of an electron. If electron has minus q charge, then a hole has plus q charge. And that charge is 1.6 into minus 19 coulomb. And the expression of one electronic charge in energy term is electron volt. So, charge is 1.6 into minus 19 coulomb and, and uh, electron volt, one electron volt is uh, 1.6 into minus 19 joule. Okay? Yehi relation hai electronic charge or electron, electron volt, EV. This structure you all know very well. This is the center is nucleus, the first orbit is n is equal to 1, the second is n is equal to 2, n is equal to 3, n is equal to 4. Lower se higher me agar ja raha hai, to kya energy wo radiate karega, aur uske ulte agar higher se lower me aa raha hai, uh, sorry, lower se higher me ja raha hai, to kya energy usko chahiye, tab wo higher me ja paega. आपको जंप करके ऊपर वाली सीढ़ी पे जाना है, so you require some external energy, jump. ऊपर से अगर नीचे आना है, then you will release some. This is just like potential energy and kinetic energy. You all are very much familiar with what we mean by Lyman series or Balmer series or Foster series. So Lyman में है जो किसी भी higher से n is equal to 1 pe jo bhi line aa rahi jo bhi radiation aa raha hai that is lyman series so kisi bhi higher se jab n is equal to 1 pe hum aa whether it is from n is equal to 6 n is equal to 5 n is equal to kahi se bhi n is equal to 1 pe agar aa rahe hain so that radiation line or spectrum is known as lyman series कहीं से भी जब n equal to 2 पे आ रहे हैं, that is known as Palmer series. कहीं से भी जब n equal to 3 पे जा रहे हैं, so that is called Austin series. Okay. 
and that is allowed for emission as well as absorption. So, Palmer series of emission is this, you have emit kar raha hai, you have upar se niche ja raha hai. And Palmer series of absorption is this, when n is equal to 2 se, wo upar ke level pe aara hai, so energy wo absorb karke ja raha hai. So, the same spectrum is for absorption and emission both. So, these are for your understanding of atomic structure and how many atoms when get together, how do they behave. It is very important for you to understand that even by a single atom's addition, we are actually changing the electronic configuration of the system. Then go back and relate it with, jo abhi humne nanotechnology mein a, ke definition mein aapko do din, teen din pehle bataya tha. Ki just by adding or dropping few gold atom, we are making that circuit open or conducting. Wo kaise ho raha hai? Kyunki hum uska electronic configuration change kar raha hai. Electronic configuration change hone se ya to energy itne jyada split ho gai, कि वो इंसुलेटर हो गया और या एनर्जी उसकी इतनी कम हो गई रिड्यूस हो गई कि इट इज एज गुड एज ए कंडक्टर तो जस्ट बाय चेंजिंग एडिंग और रिमूविंग फ्यू एटम्स एक्चुअली दिस कंप्लीट गेम इज ऑफ चेंजिंग द इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फ़िगरेशन द ओवरऑल एनर्जी एनर्जी इक्वेशन or energy state of the system that we are trying to understand. And this is very important slide where I would like to conclude my today's class is that if an atom is of a bigger size that jab uska bada ho, so basically kya hai? n is equal to 1 and n is equal to 2 tend to remain very close to the nucleus or jab n is equal to 3, 4, 5 hone lagta hai, so they are actually 4 hoga to to aur dur hoga. Yes. So 3, 4 orbits mein jo electron move kar rahe hai. They are actually not very much affinated or very much attracted towards their own nucleus. They behave like wanderers. Agar koi bagal se koi ja raha hai, to uske saath wo nikalna chahenge ki chalo bhai, hum iske saath jate hain. My parents are not taking care of mine. They are busy with some other smaller, my younger uh, siblings. So when this situation arises, then what in a, in a typical modeling of solid, what you actually do is that, that to consider the core atom, this closed system, you consider this as core atom and you consider the outermost orbit's electron as a separated system. So this is one ion, this behaves as an ion, the core atom and the remaining outermost orbit's electron is actually neutralizing that ion. So electronically, this will become Q plus ion and this will become Q minus because this is electron, so this become Q minus charge. In other words, how do we model such systems or solids that we consider the core as a hydrogen atom without electron and that electron as 
the atom of the hydrogen. So, for any larger size of atom or atomic configuration, we can deduce that in a hydrogen like structure, hydrogen like structure. Hydrogen like me is hum karte hain because hydrogen atom structure is very, very profoundly studied and uh, and closed in the text. Kuch bhi aisa uska aspect nahi hai, jo study kiya hua nahi hai, well understood. Sare element ke atom utne achche se studied nahi hai. But hydrogen atom is perfectly studied. So, we try to convert any bigger size of atomic configuration in a hydrogen like structure. And then we write all those electronic configuration to a study if there is a possibility of conduction or if there is a possibility of non conduction or insulation or in between semiconductor. All through in material science, what we are trying to do is that either we study the electronic property or we study the optical property or we study mechanical property or we study heat property. This is the properties we are studying. Mostly in these days, electronic properties or electrical properties have come to the fore than any other property. और इसलिए हम लोग हमेशा या आगे जो भी कुछ चार पांच क्लास और बात करेंगे दोस डिस्कशंस विल बी अराउंड स्टडिंग और मैनुपुलेटिंग और इंजीनियरिंग इलेक्ट्रिकल प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ सॉलिड और द मटेरियल दैट वी आर गोइंग टू प्ले विद इलेक्ट्रिकल प्रॉपर्टी क्योंकि मुझको स्विचिंग करना है मुझको करंट पास कराना है मुझको करंट रोकना है Whatever I want to do, I want to harness that atom or that solid or that material in terms of its electrical property. And so it becomes very important to understand where electrons are, where core atom is, how much that external outermost electron is connected with the core atom. If it is feebly connected, then it is quite possible to make it conduct. If it is very strongly connected, then it is too difficult to make them conduct or to use that material as conductor. So, us tarike se dekhne ke liye jo model hum use karte hain, wo either it is a bond model or it is a band model. Band, tab hum baat karte hain ki energy level mein kitni splitting hai. Bond hum tab बात करते हैं जब हम ये देखते हैं कि वो इलेक्ट्रॉन कितना स्ट्रांगली और कितना फीबली वीकली अटैच विद द कोर एट सो वी विल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम दिस स्लाइड और दिस स्लाइड इन द नेक्स्ट क्लास ओके एनी क्वेश्चन आई स्टॉप Hearing. Start my video. Hello, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, in the graph of uh, relative spacing of atoms and uh, relative energies, sir, in that graph, when in the state of eight and eight and states and four and electrons, you said that it is uh, sp hybridization, right? Hmm. But sir, in sp hybridization. S and one of p orbitals have equal energy, and other p orbit, other two p orbitals have different energy. So, uh, how it is possible? Which one S or P has uh, same energy? No. Uh, so, sir, any one of p x p y p z has equal energy as S. No. That is a wrong notion. In S orbital, it can accommodate two electrons, and certainly S orbital has lower energy than p x, p y, or p z. But since there is a splitting that has started, 
So in the SP hybridization also, the S will first merge with Px or the lowest of the P orbital. The three compartment are P k. P me three compartment hai. Each compartment can take two electrons of opposite spin, right? So yes. Let us assume that there are Px, Py, P there. There are three compartments, and Px has lower energy than Py. Py has lower energy than Pj. Slightly, just slightly. So, जब splitting होनी शुरू हो रही है, तो हमने आपसे क्या कहा कि P भी split हो रहा है. Ah, uh, sorry, S भी split हो रहा है, और P भी split. Yes. So S to split हो रहा है, so certainly one line will come lower, one line will go higher. और P, तो P में there are three, P X, P Y, P Z. So P जो split हो रहा है, जिसमें P की एक line will come lower and P की दूसरी line will go higher. So that lower line is basically P X lower line and the higher line is that is of P Z higher line. So S and P X are first merging. So I don't know where you have got the this notion that in SP hybridization S and P X have same energy, but if it is so, it means that that even if within P, since there are three blocks or three compartments, they again have a different energy configuration. And the compartment which is closest to S compartment, because so S में तो दो ही electrons रह सकते हैं, इसलिए S में एक ही compartment है. So the compartment of P orbital, which is closest to S, वो शायद तुम mean कर रहे हो कि वो that is of the same energy as S has, perhaps. I don't know whether I have. Answered your question or not? But the splitting yes, is here. वो पूरे P की हो रही है, जो splitting हो रही है, पूरे S की हो रही है, और splitting का मतलब तो यही है ना? एक end ऊपर जाएगा, एक end अभी तक जो एक line है, उसको मैंने split किया, तो एक नीचे आ रहा है, एक ऊपर जा रहा है। So that is very beautifully done in that graph, and I suggest you all to refer to the book by Streetman, Streetman Banerjee, ये किताब है, Streetman की किताब है, उसमें बहुत अच्छा है, उसी से मैंने वो graph scan भी किया हुआ है, Streetman की किताब में देखो कि बहुत अच्छे से explain किया हुआ है, और any standard semiconductor physics book has explained how this इस नहीं रही है वो ये घर पे होगी। But that graph is taken from the Streetman Banerjee's semiconductor devices or semiconductor physics। हम्म, any other question? अब मेरे घर पे होगी शायद। Any other question? तो चलो मैं क्लास क्लोज करता हूँ भूख लग रही है मेरे को थैंक्स विल मीट ऑन थर्सडे बाय